The third stage of the descent is a 30 meter tall cliff. The last obstacle awaits them. The male duck is impatient. He arrives at the landing spot ahead of schedule and walks around anxiously. The ducklings are very tired after the long journey, but they must gather their strength to make the last jump. The only way for the ducklings to survive is to reach Dalinua Lake. The female jumps and the ducklings are confused because their mother seems to be gone completely. But soon, they realize that the only way to stay together with their mother is to jump. One of the bolder ones finds a crack on the side. The ducklings roll off the cliff instead of jumping. babies. Luckily, none are missing. They've made it this far, but in an open area without shelter. The rest of the journey will be even more dangerous. The parents keep tweeting, reminding the ducklings not to fall behind. They take turns watching for predators. The ducklings following closely have finished the first lesson of their lives. After Rocky Anvil Hill, the ducks are about to enter the open grassland area. They need to pass through at full speed. The first barrier is the fence. And at this crucial moment, they need to make full use of every minute. But suddenly, they hide in the grass. The ducklings stay very still. The male duck stares forward. Half an hour later, they begin to move again. They must choose a route that allows the ducklings to avoid being caught up in the iron wires. After 13 hours, the ruddy Sheldak family is finally near the lake. Dark clouds suggest that a storm is coming, so they need to hurry. On the grassland, Roads divide the living space of the wild animals. Cars and motorcycles may bring catastrophe for the ducks. Again, it's the mother who leads, while the father stays alert to everything around them. With their inherent cautiousness, the ruddy Sheldak family safely overcomes the final obstacle.
Dalinur Lake is just in front of them. This large lake is a welcome sight. <laughs> 